Well, Mom, you're relentless. You're like a little chihuahua that you just want to kick off your feet. Here we go. I told you to quit telling lies about me, but your emails are still going and your mouth's still flopping. So here's another truth for you. Paul, you're going to, if you haven't packed your bags by now, it's start. She's a fucking lunatic. So here's another one of her lunatic tactics. This is, you want humiliation? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. All right, Paul, this is how much of a lunatic your wife is. You know what wife you always stand up for? The reason why your kids don't talk to you because your kids don't talk to you because they think my mom's a fucking lunatic. You're the only one that hasn't figured out what a psycho you're married to. Well, anyways, my mom would secretly every day watch the early version of Jeopardy. So when you guys watched it together, she told me she did that. So you thought she was smart. You've seriously been punked for like 30 fucking years. I actually feel bad for you, Paul, because I know you have a good heart and I know you've been brainwashed to hate me, but I actually, I think you're, you're cool when you're not with that thing you call a wife. I really think it's in your best interest to find a normal wife and maybe make sure they have a psychiatric evaluation before you put a ring on it. Anyway, Paul, welcome to the truth. I'm only telling you this, Paul, because I actually respect you. Hmm. My mom literally had to watch two versions of Jeopardy to feel intelligent. Like I said, grade 10 dropout. You want to keep going, mom? See, I'm psychic. So every time your little lips flap, hmm, another truth comes out. Shall we? Are you, you, you done yet? I got a list. I actually wrote a list of like missiles to throw at you. But I'm psychic and you know that. So every time you flap those little lips of yours and tell another lie or gossip about me, hmm, I just hit you with another truth. Bye for now.